in an hour or so, I will untie the lines and do my first fully solo sail on Cyclops. And admittedly, a little tense. Well, maybe the tension's getting to me of the solo sail. A bit of a sloppy departure from the dock. First, I uh, let the current slash wind land me on my neighbor. He kindly fended off for me, and I was going slowly, so no biggie there. Then I pivoted the boat a bit using the thruster. Oops, forgot to lower the tiller. Then let the tiller flip all the way to one side. Uh, the errors don't stop. Now I give it a big blast and forward, but way too early. Should have gotten the stern close to the other side of the fairway. I try to correct by giving myself a whack in reverse. Again, a little too strong, but eventually I have the boat kissing up to the far fairway, which then allows me to put it now in forward and get that rotation one needs to leave the marina using both the thruster and a good bit of propeller. Well, my first solo sail starts here. Cyclops' biggest fan took a video as I was leaving the channel. Notice I don't have any sails up yet. I like to get far away from other hazards before I start hoisting the main. Main sail's going up right now in about 15 knots of breeze. I'm using the autopilot to hold the boat head to wind and I have the engine in forward. After a while, uh, I'm not strong enough to do the last bit without using the winch. Quick double check of the navigation and then just notice how easy it is to steer the boat with the tiller extender. You can hold it behind your back. The cheek blocks for both the staysail and the Genoa have clutches. And in this case, while I'm rolling out the Genoa, I've left the lazy cheek block in a clutch mode. Releasing the lazy clutch allows the sail to have proper trim. Now it's time to march the check stays or bus tax forward. If I don't do that, then the boom can't be eased as much as necessary for going downwind. So we're just a bit out of the port, and it's mayhem when we first start out. I had to get all the fenders away, all the dock lines away, the main up, the general out, settle into the proper port. Still need to check a little bit on that. Uh, and then I'll have a deck cleanup. But uh, right now, the computer is saying I'll get to the Radish Descent around 6 o'clock p.m. Here I'm cow hitching the lazy check stay. I never cow hitch a active line in case it was ever released by accident would damage the lifelines. After figure eighting sheets, I either place them in the line bags, figure eight them on a winch, or leave them in the cockpit. After all my hard work, I now get to enjoy a relaxing sail. I'm glancing at the screen there, which has all parameters related to sailing. Isn't that a beautiful main? Look at the, got the luff nice and tight. You know, as you learn a new boat, you end up fighting the squeaks. There's always something. Um, for me, this Vang is my nemesis. I'm trying to pass another boat, but that's nothing new. Uh, he's cruising, I'm cruising, I just want to cruise a bit faster. I'm gonna just make sure my VHF is set up well. You know, it's really tough when you're alone. There's always just these little things that Gail does that um, now I have to do myself and remember and stuff like that. Now, the cool thing is this boat's still going four knots in something like 6.8 knots of breeze. Uh, and we're pretty far downwind. The Pen Agurman. And it's right here and it's something you don't probably want to hit and I'm lined up right with it. But if I head lower, the boat basically stops moving. So I'm sort of messing around, trying to figure out what that next is. This bit here tells you where you're going to be roughly in a half hour. And this bit is where I want to be. Still just sneaking along downwind. The navigation conundrum is that I'm headed towards some rocks. What I thought I'd use this as a chance just to check on everything up front. The factory might take the boat away from me for abuse of product. And so I'm trying wing on wing in light air with the Genoa in the main. Um, the results have not been fantastic. The boat needs apparent wind to go. I'm currently rocking out at 2.3 knots. Once past the rocks, then I'll um, hopefully put up the chute. Um, we still have about 10 hours left on this trip. At this rate, more like 12, 14. The true wind angle that I like for the spinnaker in this light air is 130 to 140. 
So I need to turn the boat 40 degrees to port. Right now, I'm going about 280. So it will be 240 is what I need that waypoint bearing. Well, the computer tells me that the waypoint bearing is 250. So not too far away, I can turn the boat radically and put the spinnaker up. I ran away because there was a large beeping noise, which is a DSC call. And for some reason, France just has a, like an unlimited supply of these mistakes. And it I put the Genoa away before launching the chute. I would like to learn how to hoist the spinnaker while the Genoa is still out. As a solo sailor, you can never give up on navigating. See how this red boat crosses my bow. Did I notice him? Here I am sorting out the three lines that need to be attached to the asymmetric spinnaker. The halyard, the sheet, and the tack line. Takes a bit of time. I'm passing the spinnaker halyard around the forestay so that the chute can come out on the starboard side of the boat. Here I'm about to make a really dumb mistake, which I'll explain later in the video. Walking the lazy guy around the forestay is another task. Another sailboat passing very close to Cyclops. Did I see her or was I distracted by the shoot? So I gotta mark my halyards the better. What happened here is I didn't get the spinnaker halyard all the way up because I had the tack line on too tight. So no biggie, easy tack line. But right now I need a little trim. Okay, the days of going three knots are over. We put the turbocharger on. There she is. I need to get a little better trim. I've got a couple things I need to work on there. Okay, I'm gonna confess something quite embarrassing. I got the tack and the clue confused. They don't label them. They just put red and blue, which I should have known. But uh, that's why I can't get the sail to trim correctly. Seven knots of boat speed, nine point knots, so uh, maybe about 10 knots of wind. Uh, got a bit of heel going on. Nice to put the sail up the correct way. Kind of embarrassing. Let's go check on her. I'm sure still some tweaking needs to be done. And we are powered up. I mean, this is 10 knots of wind sailing. Get out of here. Your time. It's sailing so nicely in that air. Okay, I gotta do some navigation. I can't just sit down with you all day. I love watching the bow interact with the water and how it gets pushed away. Great design by Jacques Valère. I bought it so it would go fast when it was light air. And mission accomplished. Okay, so the halyard needs to come up a bunch. You can see it sort of dingling in the water, not in the water, but in the air, is this blue cone. And its job is when it's time for spinner to take down, is to remotely trigger that shackle and let go of the pull. I mean, the uh, tap. Okay, so this is what spinnaker sailing's like. About a one foot wave, 10 knots of breeze, doing seven and a half. Uh, boats loaded up and loving it. I mean, took a few attempts. Uh, well, two. I mean, wow. 
Look at this thing, powered up, going. Probably could ease the shoot sheet a few inches. I, you know, I'm still trying to figure out this whole tack line thing. You know, I'm pretty close to the wind, so I would wipe the tack line tight. Getting used to all those big loads on all the systems that are new, and just making sure there's no mistakes, you know, in the pole, because that was a bit of an issue, and in the attachment to the shack along the uh, tack of the spinnakers. The problem is you're so much faster than some of the other boats, you have to make sure you don't run them over. I've got a guy ahead of me that I'm overtaking quite quickly. Let's go look at this guy. He's got the Genoa and Maine out, having a lovely day, probably doing, you know, five knots, and we're just coming up 50% faster. So I just have to make sure I don't hit him. Um, look at that weight, just honking. You want that luff of the chute just curling in every once in a while. There you go, just curled in nicely. Probably I could ease it a bit more, but we're in cruising mode. We're in racing mode, that's, that's great. Oh, now a little nice curl. So I think I'm pretty darn close to where I want that trim on the tail in terms of the sheet angle. Totally unsure of the tack line. You know, a tighter tack line is for when you're close to the wind. A loose tack line is when you're off the wind. Cyclops has lined up her next victim. Looks like a Hallberg Rossi. I'm sure she's got a really comfortable aft cabin. She's from Britain. The boat with the chute, who Cyclops is really after, um, has a symmetric chute, so they got theirs way back, which is nice. It's like a different sport. I mean, this guy was just in front of us a few seconds ago. And uh, in the time it took me to remove my final fenders, I just flew by me. You know, it's it's really important to keep your wits about you in terms of who's coming in. Because the speeds are, you know, I don't know, 7 knots, 7.5 knots, it's not that fast. But things come up much quicker. Ooh, there's the boat we passed a while ago. And we've been working down there, kind of. Time for the spinnaker takedown. First up, release the tack line. In this takedown, I did a very poor job of preparing the sock control line. In future takedowns, I lead the sock dousing line through a snatch block. This makes the whole process a much cleaner and faster. I took the sail down with the intention of jibing and then resetting the sail. I thought this would be easier as I'm a bit of a rookie. Later in the day, I experiment and try a proper jibe without taking the sail down. Here I am re-hoisting the spinnaker on the port side of the boat. Before re-hoisting, I had to reroute the sheets and the halyard. The standard setup for the JPK is to not have a mast winch. I would be hard pressed to do these maneuvers without a mast winch. A whole bunch of material likes to get bunched up in the spinnaker sock hoop at the bottom. If you don't correct this on hoist, what will happen is as you raise the ring, instead of the sail merging, the entire hoop and the sail will head up the mast. To prevent this problem, a quick tug on the material will allow the spinnaker to stay down and the hoop to go up. That creaking noise is a sound from the spinnaker sheet. It's saying, I'm getting tugged on pretty hard. So there I go and add another wrap to the winch. I frequently test the spinnaker trim. Here I'm easing a bit to see if the curl remains or if the curl gets out of control. Here's what the boat looks like looking at. Probably a whole issue with the mainsail trim as well, but we'll worry about that later. Boat things are well AS targets of boats. I think what they're telling me is that the jibe I'm going out to is going to lead to more current. We've been gearing up since we left the dock for the Chaz Descent, which was 44 miles away from the dock. We are going to arrive, I'm going to say at around 4 p.m. It's 1 p.m. now, so we've got another three hours of sailing. Maybe more like five. Um, and it looks like the Chaz will be helping us a lot. So you just prefer taking one or two knots of benefit, not I may end up getting four or more. 
We'll see. Uh, it's a calm day. Locals have told me not to fret. Uh, like I tell people about Hell's Gate back in New York City, not to fret. I'm now actually set up for a jive if I need to do one. You're just hanging out here, not burning an ounce of diesel, just hauling butt. Um, some of these guys closer to shore, I think, are making out of me due to the current. When we hit eight, so there's a little brrrr noise, which I suspect is the bomb stay. I just eased the spin sheet a bunch, and I think all day I've been over trimmed. I haven't gotten that nice big shoulder which I'm getting now to windward, which lets the boat uh, go a little deeper. Oh, and the speed? Ooh, how about almost eight knots in 14.7? Oh, good, we're below the 15 number.